Padre Pio is famous for his numerous prophecies, some documented and others transmitted orally, among all their predictions. One stands out for its exceptionality, the disturbing prophecy of the three days of darkness. This revelation provoked a profound reflection on its implications and caught the attention of people all over the world. But what exactly do they mean? Those TR days of darkness, before diving into this prophecy, is essential better understand who was Padre Pio Francesco Forgione was born. On May 25, the 1887, in the modest town of Pietrocina, Italy, he came from a family of farmers since Young showed a deep religious vocation and entered the Capuchin order at the age of 15 being ordained a priest in 1910 Padre Pio spent much of his life in San Giovanni Rotondo, where he performed many of his miracles and visions, the life of Padre Pio took an extraordinary course when it began to manifest the stigmas, a phenomenon that defied all explanation, and that these aroused great admiration stig. As that represented the five wounds of Christ inflicted during the crucifix, and that the feet appeared in the hands and the side, were accompanied by intense suffering, it should be noted that this phenomenon, Although mysterious too, it was found in other holy figures and mystics throughout story, and it was often interpreted as a sign of profound holiness and spirituality. The stigmata of the father pious bled periodically, but remained miraculously free of infection exhaling the scent of roses d. During the healing process, however, reappeared after a few days or weeks. It is important to highlight that these wounds were not visible to everyone but were authenticated by the church stigmata aroused great devotion among the faithful attracting pilgrims from everyone to San Giovanni Rotondo, Lo, which made Padre Pio even more unique. It was his prophecy about the three days of darkness, a warning that poses important questions. What is the meaning of this prophecy is expected that these events occur. In September, how should we prepare for these? Potentially difficult times, our searching for answers is of utmost importance, and prudence advises us keep us alert, because the revelations may contain unexpected ideas in a personal letter addressed to the Herald's Commission, an appointed body by the Vatican Padre Pio documented his unwavering belief in the authenticity of the revelations that had received from our Lord at that time, let us shared his spiritual path and the divine graces that were bestowed upon him, granted including the extraordinary gift of the stigmata, his words resonate thus, my beloved son, I have waited eagerly this moment to reveal I ask for the deep affection of my heart, to participate in prayer and reparation in my name, and encourage others to do so, the same the coming time is propitious to visit my afflicted people, who sadly has neglected the window of my grace, Maintain your perseverance in the prayer, to frustrate the dominion of your adversary, implores my people to be prepared at all times, because my judgment with L come upon them suddenly and unexpectedly, none will escape me for all will fall under my sight observation. I will extend my embrace protector, be alert and observe the sky, the sun, the moon and the stars when they show signs of agitation and tumultuous unrest. This agitation marks the proximity of the United States days, united in surveillance, nourished by the until the messenger of the annihilation has crossed its threshold prey, that these days will be shortened through prayer and dedicate your sir. Elves to the reparation to the fervent devotion, already the acts of self-discipline, there are deep interests at stake. Pray for humanity advances inexorably towards the abyss of damnation dancing happily. In celebration, as if addressing a carnival, I ask that in the salvation of the souls, the cup of sin now overflows, and the day of retribution with its events terrifying is closer than you think you can imagine. The false feeling of world security hides the impending divine judgment that will fall like e lightning those who do not have faith are immersed in the evil will be eliminated without mercy as the inhabitants of Sodom and Gomorrah. I say that today's evil surpasses even to that of Sodom and Gomorrah. Close the windows of view 
refrain from looking outside light, a blessed candle that will shine brightly enough for many days. Pray the rosary, immerse yourself in the spiritual literature, make connections too, through acts of spiritual communion and acts of love that are deeply welcome to us. Pray with them, arms outstretched in humble prostration on the ground, thus contributing to the salvation of many souls. Do not come out of home, but make sure you have sufficient supplies. The forces of nature will be stirred and a flood of fire will send shivers of terror down your spine. Gather courage. For I am the creator and guardian of creatures and beings. Humans will notify in advance by specific signs that will prompt them to offer additional supplies. The goods of the chosen ones will be protected. D. Including the well-being of animals because their survival will be fundamental. Do not allow anyone to venture into the yard, not even to take care of the animals, take good care of them in your windows. My chosen ones will be protected from my wrath trust in me. I will wrap them under my protection. Torrents of firestorms will fall from the heavens and will spread throughout the world storms bad weather. Thunder and tremors will cover the earth for two days, followed by a rain uninterrupted fire. Its genesis will be marked by a cold night. All these events demonstrate the supremacy of God on the creation those who deposit their hope in me and keep a faith firm in my teachings they should not fear for. I will not abandon them nor forsake them. Those who spread my message, the righteous adorned with sanctifying grace and protected by the intercession of my mother, will remain unharmed for prepare them for this upcoming visit I will provide signs and directions recognizable. The night will be cold accompanied by a howling wind with the time. The lightning will resound closed doors and windows, avoiding contact with strangers, kneel before a crucifix begging for protection from me mother during the tremor's escape from his gaze, because the holy wrath of God is imminent. I ask that you do not be witnesses of his anger that requires contemplation with reverence. Those who ignore this counsel will find a death instant. The wind will carry gases, toxic and spread them all over the world. Those who through the Ramos innocence become martyrs they will find comfort in my king, even though Satan may triumph momentarily in the three nights tumultuous with earthquakes and flames domain will cease the following day, when the sunlight will shine again on. The world the angels will descend from the heavenly realms bringing a spirit of tranquility that will envelop the earth an overwhelming feeling of gratitude, will embrace the survivors of this horrible experience. The fatality imminent dates back to the beginning of the creation, already there. Indifference of the humanity, in relation to these events, imminent people seem indifferent to preparation for these demonstrations extraordinary and brief. The balance of divine justice will bow heavily upon the end. Half the fury of my father will be poured out on the world I reiterate a warning through from your diary, as I did in the past on the day determined when the darkness envelops the earth. No one will not leave his house nor look out of the windows. The darkness will last three days, and on the third night the stars will regain their splendor. Later the sun foretells a new day like this, to spring during those hours dark. My chosen ones will remain alert his devotion will be incessant, like the garden wet. Re my disciples hesitated, their prayers will have no rest, and their faith will not be frustrated. I will gather my chosen, although the infernal abyss may deceive us. I will momentarily recover the domain on earth. I have warned the humanity repeatedly, and offered countless opportunities to return to. The right path, the wave of the sea, has reached its peak, and the time of punishment, cannot be delayed any longer share with everyone that the time when these prophecies were will comply with these warning. G's were communicated directly to Padre Pio for Jesus Christ. It is essential to recognize that Padre Pio was not the only one recipient of this revelation. The origins of this prophecy are attributed to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who has appeared to various saints and mystics throughout the history. Between them, Catherine and Mary the Blessed Anna Maria Tai St. John Bosco and St. Faustian Cobalsa, dear friends. The scope of the Great Tribulation 
is unfathomable and requires a deep reflection. What actions should we take? Take as Padre Pio suggests. Let us trust in our Lord Jesus Christ and let us seek to live a life of righteousness while there is time before saying goodbye, friends. There is one last thing what a nun also revealed should know a prophecy and refers to the month of October 2023. It is even more important for them to see the video, that's why we inserted it here in the screen click, on the video to know the full story, and don't stay halfway goodbye, see you there. I invite you to enjoy and subscribe to our channel. Share this video with others so they can benefit too. Leave a comment below to share your thoughts and experiences. Thank you for watching and joining us on this journey. We'll see you in the next video. Blessings.